I'm Yolanda Frederick Thompson. I'm here today to show you how to do my celebrity glam look for the red carpet. Meet my model Morali, and we're going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get that done. So let's get started. The first thing that I like to do is clean the face. So I just use a little cleansing towelette and make sure that there's no oil buildup in the T-zone. Um, then the next thing that I like to do is brows. And I'm speaking for all of us makeup artists who've been doing this for a long, long time. I'm more of a fan of the natural brow line. Just get a little bit of the Black Knight cake liner just to connect some empty spaces in her brow. And we're going to do the other side here. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do um, is hydrate the face. I like to use a little argan oil, just a little bit so that it mixes with my foundation to create a really velvety textured application or finish rather. I just put a little bit, a little dab everywhere on the face. Then we're going to apply the lash. The trick to putting the lash on without too much fuss is bending it in the middle here. Just make a little crease in the middle and let the glue dry. I just put it right down into the lash line and under the fold of the lid and I hold it there for a second. So we just did the lashes, so now what I'm going to do is base the eyelid. I like to mix and just to make sure everything's smooth here. Give me a nice smooth palette to work from. Start with a mocha color, something with red in it, and I'm just going to press it into the crease. It's really pretty and very pigmented. Alright, so I'm going to add um, a color in the center here to connect these two colors together. So I think I'm going to add a lighter caramel color. Look up. Contour right here in the corner of the eye and bring it all the way across. That's so pretty on her. Same thing on this eye. Then I'm going to contour underneath with the um, mocha color that I used on the crease here in the center just to bring some color back into my palette and frame the eye better. And then I'm going to take a darker brown and I'm going to pinch the outer corners. This is a nice liquid, a black liquid liner. And I go all the way in as far underneath the fold as possible. And I cover the band because I don't like to see the um, lashes band here. And I bring it out to where I want it to stop. Alright, so turn this way now. So I just stopped right here to turn up the outside corner so that her eyes, so the liner doesn't pull her eyes down. Alright, so there we go. Okay guys, so I love these little foundation palettes. They have like six colors in them. And I use them to mix and match to get the right foundation. This is like a, a liner um, that people use to open up their eye. Um, inside the waterline on the bottom lid, on the bottom lash line rather. But I like to use it for highlighting. So I'm gonna highlight the nose with this pencil so that I get a real thin line. Because all we need to do is reflect light. This is a real nice um, light setting powder by MAC. Peach. Isn't this puff really nice and soft and silky? It's actually made of silk. It's really nice. It feels super nice. Okay. So now what you're seeing here is just sheer perfection. It's just like velvety smooth um, skin. It's like her second skin. Okay, so as you can see, um, she has a nice sheer flawless finish. Um, after I let the powder um, bake a little bit, it really blended well with the foundation. I'm really happy with that. So I'm 
I'm just gonna do a little touch of contouring because, you know, again, we don't wanna over contour and I'm just using a darker powder. It has a really nice warm tone to it. So I'm just going to contour a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a little bit of cream blush. So I'm going to take, um, my brush that I use to stipple and Blue Mercy has a really, really beautiful cream blush called Praline. Um, it's a very pretty peachy nude color. Um, to, to this side. And I'm just going to show you how I stipple onto the cheek. I just use my little brush. And because we let the powder bake onto the skin, any other wet or creams that you put on top is not going to move your makeup. The next thing we're going to do is highlight. And I like to use a fan brush to highlight. Here's my fan brush. And I just take the brush and I sweep it across the palette. And I just place it here right on the cheekbone. And I just go back and forth ever so lightly to deposit the color onto the cheek bone area and then I just take my finger and blend. It's blending really nicely because remember the cream foundation is still a little tacky so it gives the uh, highlighter some foundation and staying power. And I'm going to contour her lips. Um, that's what I like to call it because I'm really not one to want to see the liner but you're going to know it's there because you're going to see the depth around the outside of the lips. And just go back around the edges and contour a little bit more. It's just a cool brown color. And then I blend those edges so that they're soft. I don't like to see the demarcation uh, where the lipstick dries. I like to blend that away so that it fades out naturally. The same thing on the top. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a pink color here to highlight and to add some reflection to the finish of this lipstick. It gives it another layer of depth which is um, looking really good. So pretty. I really like it. And next we're just gonna curl her lashes. Perfect. And I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. And because she has black lashes, I'm going to just run this through her lashes to give them a little bit more pop. And I think we're done. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope you like my 